Welcome to Visions, a series of visits to almost everywhere. I'm your host and fellow traveler, Herb Marsman. This week, we'll drop anchor in Antarctica to sail with the mighty Orca and pay a visit to Commandant Faraz. Let's move along. Uh, we're entering Paradise Bay. Uh, I guess it's about 5.15. It's the 15th of November, 1994, 5.15 in the late afternoon. Uh, the uh, fog is lifting. We're getting a little sun, but there's a beautiful haze. This is a beautiful haze. We're entering a Paradise Bay, and it's aptly named. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever witnessed. Uh, the scene in front of uh, us is, I guess the best way to describe beauty is uh, when you see it, you want to paint it if you're a painter. If you're a poet, you want to write about it. If you're a photographer, you want to take pictures of it. Um, if you're a sensitive person, you want to feel it. And for me, I want to talk about it. It's uh, snow-capped. Everywhere you look, there's, there's ice. Everywhere you look, there's... It's the last continent. It's the, the cleanest continent. It's the... It's, I think the captain described it uh, when we met the captain. He said... You can't call the crown jewel of the earth the bottom of the earth. So it isn't the bottom of the earth, this is the crown jewel. It may be the bottom on the map, but it's, but it's the ultimate jewel in our crown. The colors, the, uh, the sky, it's, uh, it's awe-inspiring. And um, I may be in the only sound help on deck right now where everybody is just looking. They're just standing and looking, and some are bundled up. Uh, it's cold, not too windy, I guess you can hear that. And uh, we can only hear the engines going. We have a marvelous crew. At no time since we left, since we met up uh, in Santiago, uh, have I ever noticed any of the crew, any of the staff, and the lecturers are uh, seeing it as a job. They've been as inspired as we are, and they've seen it many times. Uh, this is a wonderful crew and a wonderful staff. Take A. We're about to go ashore. We're going to make a landing in Paradise Bay and take a look around. I don't know what we're going to be looking at, but uh, five orcas or killer whales. They're black on top, white on the bottom. Uh, killer whales, are, it's, uh, the, the name killer is really uh, really a disgraceful way to describe these. Uh, these are the same whales that unfortunately are on display at San Diego and the different aquariums and they, and they perform for everybody. We're looking at these huge uh, uh, clearings in the water, uh, the, the, the footprints, as it were, of, of the whales, and we're about to take the zodiacs to shore uh, through this expanse of water, and there's a Chilean uh, station. It's not being used right now, a research station. I guess that's where we're going, and uh, we may just run into an orca on the way over, and uh, it should be interesting. So let's get ready to go on board. Uh, we're going to take the zodiac. We won't, uh, the next time we speak, we will be on land. See you in a little while. Hey, one of the orcas are killer whales. Uh, we shouldn't be over here right at the gangplank, but one of the killer whales came up right near the ship and uh, right near the, uh, right near the, uh, uh, at the Zodiac. So that's the deal right now. This should be interesting. I'm going to leave this on. Larry's our pilot. I've got my back to the, uh, my back over here, so if uh, one of those orcas comes up, we won't have time to name it. But uh, I thought I'd leave it on to uh, so you can hear the either the conclusion or the continuation of visions, a series of visits to almost every whale hangout in the world. Here we go. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Whoop, a little bump. I'll tell you, we're moving pretty good, but I think any one of those guys could catch up to us real fast. We're heading right for the station now. Uh, everything's fine. Everything is fine. Okay. I won't cut tape at this point because you never know.
we're going past the station, I guess. Oh, there are penguins are swimming. To explain how penguins swim, they're sort of like dolphins in that uh, they'll be swimming underwater and then all of a sudden you'll see them rise and dip and that's how they propel themselves. Where? Uh, we're looking uh, we're looking right at three big males, the big males. Now those of you that are in front kind of stay seated, the folks in back can stand up if you wish. What part of the whales are we looking at? The flukes, I guess. The dorsal fins, they're straight ahead of us, straight ahead. Uh, there are three. There are two together. You see, here this, this see the spouts going. And uh, that's what's going on. Uh, Larry has slid. <laughs> what am I doing here? I'm a New Yorker. <laughs> Look at that. The dorsal fins, they're, they're large males, as Larry described them. Uh, and then, then you see the footprints, sort of a smoothing, a circular smoothing of the water. And there's the ripple in the water, and then all, and it gets smooth. And then that circle, that's the footprint. May well be. I see animals coming up here with clean white, and then others that are, that are have that yellow patina. So these are orcas, or killer whales. Uh, it's, it's lovely to see them in the open, in nature, uh, at uh, San Diego or the aquariums. Uh, that's no place to look at this. Uh, you really have to see this. They're kind of moving away from us now, sort of leading us. There are three, four. There are four of them. They're ahead of us probably about 40 yards, maybe. Straight ahead. We're right at the front of the boat, looking straight out. Uh, they're not coming towards us, they're kind of leading us. There they go, they, whoa, they are in one, two. There's one right behind us. Oh, there's one right behind us. Oh, gosh, they're encircling us, they're sort of circling us. <laughs> gang, gang, this is lovely. Okay. Let's watch the ones in front of us. This would be a family unit or a pod. Might be a couple of pods. Uh, a couple of pods are family units. Not having previous work with them. The thing is, you lose them and you don't know where they're going to come up. You know, we're used to them being black and white. These have that patina of diatoms on them. Gives them a sulfury look. They were right here. They were right. Hope they don't come up now. Gosh, wouldn't that be something? Well, we've got our. Uh, uh, we'll be able to test out our life vests. Yeah, we might be able to test the life vests. As Gail was saying, we're going right over the one of the footprints now, but they seem to be ahead of us and moving, sort of leading us. A couple of minutes. Uh, this is just spectacular. We are just watching and waiting to see where they come up again. We've quieted down. Again, last time we saw them about 40, maybe 45 yards ahead of us. We don't see them now. But they were sort of choreographed. They were sort of choreographed. Uh, they were choreographed. They were, they, were, they were swimming in motion. All of a sudden they disappear and then they, the, the dorsal fins come up and they arch and then nose down, face down, and then, and then they disappear and then they come up again. So, uh, that's how they propel themselves through this beautiful scene. That you saw is probably about, it looked very big, 30 feet, probably 8 tons. And very distinctively, not only bent, but kind of twisted dorsal fin. That was fabulous. You saw that there were also uh, at least two other big males in it. The males will tend to either go off and form other groups off somewhere we don't know where they go or they'll actually stay with their mother's group so uh, there can be more than one big male and they tend to get together the pods get together and do their breeding and with all that the, the face could show up right here we could see the face right here <laughs>
because you never know where they'll come up. Uh, on fishes and such. Okay, we're moving along now. Okay, now they're they're right in front of us now. We're looking again at the front of the boat. There are two to the left. Just a fairly young animal. They're born about 400 pounds or so. Look at this. One, two, three, four, and they're swimming. The choreograph is one off by itself. Seems to be coming this way, our way. <laughs> And one is sitting right here, and one is kind of moving along with us, alongside of us. Two are in front of us. I don't know where they're going. Uh, and then they're, they're in slow motion. They have stopped. There are one, two, three, four, five with white spots, black and white. And not more than 100 feet. We have quieted down now. Listen, let's see uh, if we can hear them. You can hear the blow, the, the, the water being sprayed, the spouts. Listen. Oh my goodness, there it is, you hear the spout. That's it for a while. Are they close? We're looking at the big male straight out with the bent dorsal, the twisted fin. Listen to this guy. Look at this guy. Right now, they're perhaps maybe 40 feet from us, 30 to 40 feet. Uh, Gil is just saying that he just raised up a whole roll of film. Look at the big one out there. We really don't know much about the social system down here like we do up in Alaska. Even Iceland, we don't know too much about it. In Alaska and the Puget Sound area, we've got history since the early 70s with these guys. So we don't know so much about how these animals work. The Soviets have proposed that there are... Oh, this big guy. A transient and resident group. They've actually... Cool, huh? I thought we were going ashore. I'm glad we didn't go ashore. Yeah, me too. I am so happy. Marsha told us it was a tour, the, 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 the going on shore, and I guess we got confused over there and took the wrong, uh, oh, we took the right uh, line to go out. We certainly took the right boat to come out. As a matter of fact, Larry was just saying that uh, this was supposed to be a landing boat and not a, uh, a Zodiac tour boat, and uh, he made the decision not to land and take us on the tour, and boy, that is one of the great decisions of all time. Uh, he's... Uh, there's got a lot of smarts, and I think we've already heard that. There are three or four of us. God, this is amazing. <laughs> Fantastic. That's all we can say. Uh, we took the right boat. And the thing is, we don't know where they'll come up next. They're black on top, white on the bottom, and then right where the shoulder would be white splotches. We're going through the footprints again. Again, these orcas are killer whales, and right now, as you can see, we're pretty close. So far, there goes that, the whole notion. What's that name? The aquarium, the aquarium. San Diego. Yeah, but but this is the way this is the way you see them. We were just talking about the San Diego, the aquarium where they see uh, sea land or see uh, where they cage them. We keep them in the little ponds and pools, and uh, this this is this is the way you see it right here. It has gone quiet now. Nobody's nobody's here. Yeah, we don't see them again. Right now it's gone quiet on the water, which could be the, the whales, the orcas may be discussing things under the water, what in the water, because we are again the first tourists of the uh, season. It's, uh, it's awe-inspiring and um, I may be in the only sound help on deck right now. Everybody is just looking. They're just standing and looking and 
Some are bundled up. Uh, it's cold. Not too windy, I guess you can hear that. And uh, we can only hear the engines going. We have a marvelous crew. At no time since we left, since we met up uh, in Santiago, uh, have I ever noticed any of the crew, any of the staff, any of the lecturers uh, seeing it as a job. They've been as inspired as we are, and they've seen it many times. Uh, this is a wonderful crew and a wonderful staff. Take A. We're about to go ashore. We're going to make a landing in Paradise Bay and take a look around. I don't know what we're going to be looking at, but uh, five orcas or killer whales. They're black on top, white on the bottom. Uh, killer whales, are, It's uh, the, the name killer is really, uh, really... Everywhere you look, there's, there's ice. Everywhere you look, there's... It's the last continent. It's the, the cleanest continent. It's the, it's, I think the captain described it uh, when we met the captain. He said, you can't call the crown jewel of the earth the bottom of the earth. So it isn't the bottom of the earth. This is the crown jewel. It may be the bottom on the map, but it's, but it's the ultimate jewel in our crown. The colors, the, uh, the sky. Welcome to Vision, to a series of visits to almost everywhere. I'm your host and fellow traveler, Herb Marsman. This week, we'll drop anchor in Antarctica to sail with the mighty Orca and pay a visit to Commandant Faraz. Let's move along. Uh, we're entering Paradise Bay. I guess it's about 5.15. It's the 15th of November, 1994, 5.15 in the late afternoon. Uh, the uh, fog is lifting. We're getting a little sun, but there's a beautiful haze. This is a beautiful haze. We're entering a Paradise Bay, and it's aptly named. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever witnessed. Uh, the scene in front of uh, us is, I guess the best way to describe beauty is uh, when you see it, you want to paint it if you're a painter. If you're a poet, you want to write about it. If you're a photographer, you want to take pictures of it. Um, if you're a sensitive person, you want to feel it. And for me, I want to talk about it. It's uh, snow-capped. 